Uh, welcome to Pantech Solutions. In this video, we are going to learn the basics of computer vision using MATLAB. Okay. So I'm going to use computer vision toolbox in MATLAB, and I'm going to show you how to do face detection and the facial features extraction using MATLAB. So the first thing is I'm going to change the path. Okay. So I have a folder on my desktop. So I just copy this path. I click and copy. I just open MATLAB and I change the path. Okay. So you could also change by clicking on this and right click and paste okay you could click you click and right click and you could paste the path here and press enter you could change on both ways either you type cd single quotes and paste the path here else you just paste it here so both are same so just type help vision okay help vision so this will uh, list you the list of uh, before that, you have to install the computer vision toolbox on MATLAB image processing and computer vision toolbox. Just type help vision. So, this will list down you all the syntax which is available on the computer vision toolbox. Okay. I'll show you like how to go, what are the syntax are available and how to find out the right syntax uh, for editing face. Uh, by default, uh, this algorithm uses Viola Jones algorithm for editing the face. Okay. So, if you check here, like you have the demos here on examples like you have vision demos the computer vision demos and uh, it, all the utilities codes are here text and graphics like object annotation how to put bounding box okay and how to insert and mask so all these things are here and statistics like blob analysis and to find mean value medium value and uh, minimum value maximum value is here okay geometric transformation if you want to do geometric transformation like uh, estimate the geometric transform uh, you could use this one okay affine transformation and everything mostly used for uh, augmented reality and filtering and uh, to apply conversions okay enhancement and this is for a point cloud processing for lidar processing some stereo vision for stereo cameras camera calibration if you want to calibrate if you want if you're going to use ca camera stereo cameras or to use cameras to calibrate the cameras you could use this one to find distance kind of thing and motion analysis and tracking here you just go for uh, object detection okay you copy this code vision dot cascade object data you just copy this syntax and type help help vision cascade object data okay so just type help vision dot cascade object data. So this will give you a sample code here. You just copy the sample code, right click and click evaluate selection. So this will run you the sample code. Okay. Uh, so it just directs the faces. If you want to do for your own image, I have the image on this folder. Okay. So if I click this, this is the image. I'm going to direct face for this image. So I just copy this code. I just I'm going to copy the sample code. Okay. I click on copy and just type edit to open a new editor window. Okay, to just type edit to open a new editor window, control B, and you just save the program. Save the program, control S and save the program as example one. Okay. So I'm going to read this image. It's a JPEG image. Okay, I just read this image by default. It uses a frontal face algorithm. I'll show you what happens inside. So it it initializes the frontal face algorithm. Okay. So and you click. So it detects a face now. If you want to detect the eyes and the nose and the mouth, so you keep a breakpoint here. Okay, you just keep a breakpoint and click run button. So the program will stop at this point. You just click step in to go inside this program okay and you search for the keyword called frontal face okay on line number 584 you have frontal face called mouth and nose i just copy this one uh i just copy okay and i paste it here for reference just for reference so if I want to direct this hyper big, I just copy the string. Okay. I have to pass this object data as hyper big. Okay. So save this program and run this program. So if you check now, you could 
detect this eye. Okay, if you want to crop and if you want to save this eye, then you could use IN crop. Okay, so uh, D equal to like the crop image. This is the crop image equal to IM crop. IM crop of this I. Okay. I and this is the bounding box to crop. So insert object annotation is used for rectangle. Okay. And face like here, like you got the name. Okay. So it crop this one. If you want to save that one, I am right, use the I am right command. Okay. And you crop this, you use this variable at I dot BMP. I'm going to save it as a BMP file. Okay. So run the program and you got the image, the crop image will be stored here, I dot BMP. Okay. You just click I dot BMP. So this this I is cropped and stored on the current working folder. If you want to, uh, if you want mouth, then use mouth. Okay. So instead of Piper big, you just use mouth, and this is mouth dot BMP. I change the name as mouth dot BMP, and I run the program. Like it stores the mouth here. Okay, there is no bounding box. It's not directing the mouth. So let me check. So sometimes it won't direct the mouth. It, it is there are more than one bounding box is available. Okay. Let's go for the first bounding box. Okay. okay. So this so this is the right one. We check. Not this one, okay. I just keep a breakpoint here. We check. So I just I'm trying to take a first value. Okay, so it should be uh it should be one, be one and it should be colon. Okay, so this is this is the right one. So we have to take the row. Have to take the rows, okay? We check for mouth. So this is the mouth, okay. So we got the mouth here. So this is the eye. Okay. So I just repeat the code. Uh, vision dot cascade object editor. Okay. You uh, you first initialize the director. If you don't give you anything here, by default it takes the frontal face. Okay. By using Wilder Jones algorithm. If you pass the value, these are the values which you could pass: frontal face, mouth, nose, eye pad, big, uh, right eye, left eye. Okay. So these are the values which you could pass. And uh, read this image. Okay. Use step function to get the bounding box. The bounding box is the xy coordinates. Okay. You get four values here. I am crop is the to crop the image to crop the out from this whole image. I am right is used to store the image, and this is the file name. And this is insert object annotation is used to draw a rectangle. Okay. To face and figure is to open a new figure, and I am sure is used to display this one. So title is just for just for display the title on the image. So uh, so the, so in this example, we have learned uh, how to direct face face detection in an image. Uh, you could also do multiple face detection okay? and how to extract the facial features like eyes, nose, and mouth. If okay? you can use mask, you could direct mask for you could use based on this, you could apply these techniques for mask detection and face recognition techniques. So, uh, if you want to learn MATLAB, uh, we have a MATLAB course for you uh, where we teach MATLAB from basics, uh, like basics of image processing, basics of video processing, and uh, we have computer vision, like neural networks, fuzzy logic, deep learning, machine learning, 
it's a 45 hour session like we have covered up 10 plus projects uh, you could find the detailed curriculum on the link on the description box and yeah you know, like we also have a lot of projects on image processing like if you if you're doing some research you could get some help from us uh, thank you so much for uh, so much for uh, so much for your time and uh, if you uh, like uh, if you want to contact us you could send a message uh, through the whatsapp number on the description box uh, thank you so much see you on the next session our next video until then bye bye take care